So uh, this is Amanda Cooper with Cola Daily here with Mr. Hudson, owner of Jim Hudson Automotive. Your your legacy and your your car dealerships are just just iconic here in the Midlands. And for you to be giving back at this level just shows, like you said yourself, you are a um, financial missionary. And I yes. thought that that was a very well put term. Um, when we talk about these electric bikes and when we talk about the technology that they're introducing today, as a businessman, is this an opportunity maybe to introduce? you know, a line of bikes or a line of cars and, you know, more electric gear type uh, uh, products to the community? Well, actually it is. Uh, electric is, is what the future is about. Whether I like it or not, I like gas engines, but electric vehicles uh, is, is the biggest portion of any investments that is going on with the automotive manufacturers. I told them you were going to ask him. Uh, These bikes are just an example. Really tough and I'm sure they're going to need more. But we'll, we'll be here to help them make sure they go. But when we talk about the help and your contribution to the community, you mentioned earlier how you gave so much money to uh, start a school, a, a training school in yes. Augusta, Georgia, just recently at the Masters. Yep. Can you elaborate more on that and say, just kind of talk about the need for, for more businessmen or financial yes. missionaries to give back to the community? <laughs> Augusta uh, Technical College uh, had been out seeking to have an opportunity to do a special place for young people, men and women, to train auto mechanic, body shop, parts, all these different categories. Electric vehicles is one of the main reasons I got involved in it because we have got a lot of work to do to train people, people being technical technicians, how to work on electric vehicles. And that'll be a big part of this training center, even though they'll teach them everything. So it's, uh, there's not one in the state of Georgia. Augusta Tech reached out to myself and uh, Augusta National, which is well known for a major, two major donors to give them the seed, for lack of better words, the foundation to build this new tech college. So that's why we're doing it. And we're delighted because one of our biggest needs and hardest needs to fill as technicians and our dealerships. Well, uh, last question, because I know you're a very busy man and you're tight on time. Um, you're just such a successful person and well-respected. What is your best advice to those listening today trying to figure out how you're surviving through, you know, through all of these ups and downs regards to the economy, the pandemic? You know, Jim Hudson is a, is a, is a, is a, is a long-standing, iconic fixture, not just for automobile, but for customer service and quality. How do you survive during all these ups and downs right, that we're going through right now? What's your best advice to others? Be humble. Work hard. Dedicate yourself. Pick out something you want to do and be willing to pay whatever price you have to pay to be successful in whatever career it might be. And it might not be making money. It might it might be imperative. It can be a, the best husband or the best wife or the best leader in your church, whatever. Find what you are here for. Everybody's got a purpose in life. Find your purpose. I found mine, and I've worked it and will not stop until they bear me. Wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Hudson, for your time.